Once again, we strike this stand. I believe, I can't really show it too well on video, but the problem, I believe, are these two pieces of two by four, that one and this one. If you stand back far enough at the right level, that one back there kind of swings up like this. This one kind of droops down over there. These leg pieces are exactly 23 inches. I know because I just measured them multiple times again. So I believe our problem with this stand is right here. Hopefully. So I've got my measurements. We're going to make a whole new rim for the top here. Hopefully everything goes right. And that tank won't do this the whole time. And then... I'm going to make a stand for right here, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to my bedroom. That was creepy. Ooh, there's a marker in my pocket. Ha! That was even worse. All right, anyways. <laughs> this is another installment of this 40-gallon breeder tank that Lady Metalhead's um, eventually going to do something with. Uh, really, we were waiting to get this part sorted out, and today I think we're going to do that. Um, so what you saw in the interlude there was me saying I measured these legs. If you can see that far, maybe I should have looked at that. Anyways, I measured all four of the legs twice. And this is where I say it's always good to measure even more than twice. Because after doing so, after especially making that statement saying I know because I measured it. Well, guess what? I was wrong. This one is about an eighth of an inch, or not an eighth, a sixteenth of an inch off of 23 inches. So, what I've done to rectify that was I have one that's exactly 23 inches long. It even said so. <laughs> so, we may have to change that, which hopefully won't be a big deal. Whoever built this stand, they knocked the screws sideways because they used longer screws than they probably should have. That could be a problem if I have to get those out, but we're not going to worry about that. I think any issue is going to be right here and pretty much right here. So I've already pre-cut the wood, as you can see, um, to make a whole new brace right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to assemble that, set it on this one, and then we'll get the level out, see how it fits. And if it feels okay there, we'll drop the tank on it and see if we still have a wobble. And if we still have a wobble, I give up. We're just filling it. Sound good? Sound good. All right. So I will go ahead and get started on this. And it appears that there's just uh, four screws here and four screws there. Hopefully that's all. Like I said, I don't know. I'm not the one that built the stand. <laughs> all right. Easy enough. We might even reuse those. Ah, so right there, when I did that, that jumped up tremendously. So that makes me wonder if I shouldn't just change that leg out. Let's just see something here. Let's just see. Oh, yeah, you can see the wobble right there. So I still think that this is an issue. Yeah. It's a little better there. I don't have the, let's, okay. Maybe it was just whatever's on this thing. Uh, I don't know, man. I already cut the pieces, so we might as well. Yeah. But me being me, 
I'll just use this for something else. It's not that big a deal. I could have used it a few minutes ago when I was cutting the panels for the nightstand I'm going to make. Where I'm missing one 20 inch piece because I just didn't have any. Ran out. That's okay. That is the nicest that impacts ever worked. I'm just saying. All right, voila. Yeah, so I don't know how well this is going to show up on camera. Right here, you can see where I've been saying that that board is, to me, looked like it might be doing this number, getting whopper jawed. Probably a case of this piece may not be cut straight, but to me, it really looks like it's this, these two pieces of wood. And here you can really see the twist. I mean, it's twisting pretty bad. So, could I maybe tighten a screw down? That may actually take care of it. I don't know. We'll try it. Nope. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Okay. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just take our new pieces and I'll probably just pull the screws on out of that after I've driven it in there to where it's stripped. It's fine. I guess I did have new ones. Ah, she'll make it. All right. Oops. That is like the best it's ever worked. Guess it helps when it has a full charge. <laughs> Yep, there's our twisted board right there. I don't know if you guys can, how well we can see this. I'll stand back a little bit. Maybe we can, maybe that just gives you an idea of what, uh, what I was saying. Where one of these boards is definitely twisted. And I think it's this one. Yeah, <laughs> man, I don't know. So, I wonder about this one. Yeah, that one even looks to it. We're just gonna, we're just gonna make new pieces. I've already made them. We're just gonna use them. So, just for reference, make sure I am pretty damn spot on. All right, good deal. Who's that George Burns that used to say, I love it when a plan comes together. Ooh, I have stogies, I can do that. That was almost my toe. Because you know, anytime you're doing woodworking or anything, always make sure you're wearing flip-flops because <laughs> nothing ever falls on toes. Ever. Get me. Well, that screw's done. At least on the reverse end. We're still going to send it. Oof. Oh, yeah. So this board just kind of, like, it's straight at first, and then it just takes off this way. So definitely twisted wood. I mean, is what it is. Um, now, while I was at work yesterday, I had the wife go and pick this wood, and she did a good job getting as straight as she could find. So... I'm still going to blame it on her if it's wrong. It's fine. All right. Make sure all the sides with the writing. Yes, I'm going to be that picky. I probably should have paid attention. This goes there. <laughs> 
All right, now I'm where you guys can probably only see my head. That's cool. Yes, I am balding. I know it. Don't care. Assembled. Always make sure you do this in your bedroom because it's cool waking up and getting splinters in your feet. I thrive on it. Uh -oh. Saved it. Okay, so just by putting those pieces on, already looks much straighter. I think we're on the right track. I do, I do. What I like to do on these final pieces is just kind of drive them, start them, get them lined up where I want because, you know, as much of a master woodcutter as I am, I'm always a little off. That's how you know it's custom. You don't want it too perfect. Then people want to buy it, and then you got to make more, and just, yeah. We're not interested in that. Probably should have made sure that my measurements were correct. Either that or I got in a little sideways. It's okay. She's in there now. Eh. Just picking hairs. Uh oh. Uh -oh. So if you ever get a screw that uh, starts to strip out, just put all your weight on it. It's fine. Torqued. See how far off we are. Like a glove. You know, it's almost like I knew what I was doing. Perfection, as always. Now you know I'm lying. Okay. Let's see here. Now, the question of do I or don't I <laughs> change that leg out? I'm going to be driven nuts if I don't. So, I think I'll just go ahead and do it. It's only a few screws. Famous last words. Maybe I should just get it started in there first. That way this piece stays up. There's that all your weight thing. This is why I don't like using these. I would rather use like deck screws where they have Torx bits. They tend to not strip out as easier, as easily. Much more competent to use those than these. Uh, 
like I said, that one's done. <laughs> but it's in. The problem is, it start as every time that happens, it starts to chew the bit up too. So, get to be a little cautious. That's why I like using the, the deck screws a little bit better. There's less rollout, um, and they tend to tend to just have to be easier to use, in my opinion. Again, I'm not a carpenter, obviously. I may be switching to the deck screws because I do have four inch long deck screws. These are two and a half, three inch, something like that. Ah, come on, it's just two more. You can do it. Uh oh. Well, I may have just messed that one up. There we go. What happened was the board pushed out. I don't know if you guys could see that very well, but we got her now. And my bit is probably not going to make it. Yeah. So it's just milling the bit down. I could be smart and stop now, but I'm not going to. And if need be, we can always just change that back. So not a huge issue. Might be able to change it back. And I split it. Perfect. Professional. Oh well. Okay, so I'll set this back where we had it. I can tell because there's sawdust everywhere. The moment of truth. Level fits on it fine. It is cocked a little bit because of the carpet. Not too worried about that. I'm just worried about the tweaking that this is not doing. Yes! I might have done it. We'll be back. All right. Well, <clears throat> I'm going to have to speak up a little bit more because uh, right as I turned that off, the microphone died. So I have them both charging <laughs> for the moment, but to get through this part, I think uh, it'll speak for itself. You'll either hear me go yes, or probably say something else. So let's see. Get up there, you tweaky little bastard. What is going on here? Hard to believe that you can do something, you know it's straight, and you still have the damn wobble. Oh, just... I mean, with weight of water in it, 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 it will flex, but I'm just really nervous about that flex. 
I wonder if the guy that built this went through this, that's why they started using shims. <laughs> oh boy, I am not resorting to shims. Am not. So we'll figure this out. Okay, so where are we catching? Where or where are we catching? I'm going to attempt to drop the centerpiece down just a hair. Maybe that's, maybe that's what's doing it. I don't know. Well, I'm not even on it. Man, I just don't know. I just don't know, man. Hmm. Not even really resting on that piece over here. It's almost like hmm. I wonder if this bottom part's not bent and making everything else weird. That's an idea. Okay. So I think what I'll do, where did I put those shims? There's one. Let's just try something here. Just a theory. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> just a theory. Well, would you look at that? Hmm. Metalhead strikes again. Now I know I have a huge gap there, but that's fine, because watch this. There's this piece that I cut off of something, I don't remember what. Winning. <laughs> that's odd, I wonder how far off on level I am now. Actually. It's pretty good. <laughs> That's cool because once the water goes in it, it's going to want to settle down a little bit, and that should even right out. I win. <laughs> I probably could have just done that the whole time. I'm an idiot. But I'm your guys' this idiot, so. Okay, well, that's gonna wrap it up for this part of this video. Uh, the next part, I wanna let the battery charge on the uh, old macro phone over there, and um, we'll get to the next part. The next part, I'm not too concerned about balance and leveling and all that crap, so it won't take as long. But, there you have it. The old metalhead wins again. Prove the point. Never give up. Uh, that's John Cena's line. Don't quit. There you go. There's always an answer. You just got to find it. Man, there I go getting ph philosoph philosophical again. Uh, whatever. <laughs> All right. Well, I will shut up now. We'll get that battery charged up, and we'll get started on project number two. Throughout all my raging excitement, I forgot I wanted to add 
something down here to rest the 10 gallon on. That's what I wanted to do. It's not going to go on that stand. It's going to go on this one. Again, I'm an idiot. But to do that, we'll just simply recycle the pieces from that piece that I took off. Put them down there. Doesn't need a whole lot of bracing. Oh, the other one's in there. <laughs> okay. And for this, I'm going to use my screws. These are entirely way too long, but that's perfectly fine. These are four inch deck screws. And this is what I was talking about earlier. For those that may not know, those are the Torx fittings. Um, I just feel more confident using these and you get less wobble out like you do with these uh, Phillips bits. So now all I have to do is figure out how to get that out. That's, you know, fine. <laughs> Let's see. All I have to do is find the bit that fits that. They do come with them, but I like using these a little bit better. There we go. All right. So this is a little Tapcon kit that you can get from, I think I got these from Menards. Uh, they come with all sorts of bits, extensions, handy to have that. So if you do a lot of deck work or just woodwork in general or even concrete, um, check out the Tapcon products. They're not paying me to say that. I just like using them. I wish they were paying me to say that. Hey, Tapcon, you know, if you're, if you're in the mood, feel free to send the old metalhead a check. That'd be awesome. Okay. Off a little bit. A lot of it. There we go. Just want a nice secure platform for that one down. And of course this wants to keep dropping, so. We'll just move it a little bit. It's wood, it's forgiving. Sometimes. Alright. <clears throat> okay. And we'll hit this corner. out was my fault not the bit so. okay going under this is gonna be a lot of fun I probably should have thought about this way before now oh well just get her started and then we'll send her home that just a hair perfect perfect now probably what I'm inadvertently doing besides dropping everything everywhere that microphone we talked about. This is why I need a nightstand. <laughs> uh, let's see. Inadvertently, I'm probably creating another wobble again. Who knows? snubbed up quite a bit okay I just want to make sure that I'm not widening the gap too far oh no no not even close okay I could 
it'll be fine. Famous last words. Could slide this down. I think that was 19. I can't remember about 10 gallon measurements. About 20, roughly. Yeah, we're not even close. That's okay. It may or may not get used for this, who knows. This time it's not sliding like it was the last one. The tank. There we go. And that's why I like those bits so much. What is going on over here? Hobos, gotta love them. They're uh, surgically deconstructing a bicycle, I think. Yeah, I'll show you. This is Crystal Methany and her boyfriend, Jacob. Always remember, kids, don't do drugs. Drugs are bad, okay? Yeah. Pretty sad, actually. Yeah, I'm recording you. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we'll just slide this back where I had it for the 50th time. Scooch it over a bit this way. There we go. Later on, I plan on. Um, I have a, I guess you could call it a, a curio cabinet. I don't know. It's a little like corner cabinet that I'm going to put all my action figures in, like uh, my Transformer stuff. And I got some Marvel stuff and some poppets and stuff. I'm just going to put it over here. It lights up. It looks cool. I know I'm not into decorating much, but let's take this little guy. Put him right here, and if this one wobbles, I don't care. And it does. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care about that wobble, and it's not that much, anyways. Um, really, all I'm going to use this tank for is like a backup tank, so not horribly worried about it. It may not get used. Who knows? But if need be, we can always fire that up. So. She'll have a hospital tank if she needs it, or we decide to do, make it a grow out tank or a temporary something, who knows. But uh, that's that. So, wow. 
pathetic, absolutely pathetic. Anybody, any grown person that goes around stealing little kids' bikes, you're just, you're demented, okay? <sighs> Anyways, we'll see how the uh, progress on that old microphone's going. If I even need it. I think you guys can hear me just fine. I don't know. We'll get the little nightstand built up so I don't keep dropping things everywhere. That'd be awesome. All right, we're alive again. Good. Once again, gonna use screws that are way too long. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter for this. All I want is just something right here. <laughs> so it doesn't even have to be pretty, and this is definitely not gonna be that. So we're just gonna make a little frame somehow. Didn't think that far through either. Oops. The idea was to, you know, do something like that. Actually, that'll probably work just fine. Or even that. Ooh. Maybe that. There we go. <laughs> Just do a little something like that. Maybe connect these guys to that. Bam, bang, boom, done. Simple, easy. Not award winning by any means. But it'll hold stuff and that's all it has to do. Could even take this little guy and put it like so. So fundamentally, if anything rolls, it won't roll back in there, causing me to bend over again, which is going to happen regardless. So we'll take these. Uh, what are these? These are not four inches. I think the box is wrong. These are just spares. Mm -hmm. All right. And this is how you can really help Billy. <clears throat> oh, I don't have the right bit. Good thing I have my kit. Find the right bit. And send her down that way. A pile. There we go. All right.
Okay, and there we go. I got a little surge protector I'm going to put on there, and um, that way I can have all my power and stuff there. So that will work for what I need. I'm going to make one small adjustment. Hopefully, this doesn't turn into a nightmare. That's using the old head. There we go. Good enough for me. Again, it's not an award-winning process, but, you know, it works. Okay. Then we can take our stuff. I can set it on there and look at that. See, it works. <laughs> Bam. Perfect. You ain't going to win a beauty contest, but it doesn't have to. I can slide it over there. We're good to roll. Still got room for the cabinet. Can get to the window. No problem. 10 gallons out of the way. That's no longer wobbly. I call it a win. So anyways, uh, this has been another edition of Metalhead Building Random Crap. If you like it, make sure you hit the little button below that says like, or even the one next to it says dislike. Either way, it'll let me know. Uh, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do so. If you want, it's free. I promise the button won't bite. Um, and thanks for watching along as I destroy everything. It's plastic. <laughs> that, not the tank. You guys know. Anyways, it'll be on to the next one. Um, you will probably see Lady Metalhead in those, more or less, uh, other than me. Probably a win. Uh, she's going to finish or get this tank scaped, start getting the colonies that she wants in it. Um, and that'll be that. So definitely stay tuned for that progress. I'm sure it'll be on her channel too. Um, but the journey with this tank continues. Not a real big journey, but, you know, hey. Um, and then for anybody wondering, this is a 40-gallon um, aquarium. So, not that... I think you guys already knew that for the most part, but maybe somebody would just pop it in and say, hey, what's that? Yeah, that's a 40-gallon aquarium. So, it's, believe it or not, the only 40-gallon aquarium we have. Um, who knows? Maybe more. Maybe one day... I will take the time to build a decent stand and maybe stack another 40 on this one. Who knows? Or under it, or I don't know. We'll see. That's, that's getting crazy now. But uh, for now, it'll do for what we need it to. Uh, that'll do for what I need it to. I could probably do something about that. <laughs> maybe that's why it's wobbling. Yeah, I probably will. But I will, I will spare you guys that process as I kick it with my toe, because that's smart. I'll spare you guys that part. But anyways, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. You get to see all my fun adventures, all Lady Metalhead's fun adventures on her channel, too. Some of them are on this one, because, you know, this one was around first. Just saying. Anyways, thanks, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. And stay metal.